What's included with our HL100 is the laser itself. We have a small self-centering locking nut that centers from 7 eighths of an inch up to 3 inches and then a large locking nut which expands up to 4 and 3 quarters. And an adapter plate to use over larger holes and steel studs. And then also included is a die cast torpedo for the 45 vial. If you drill holes in a row through studs or floors, I have to show you this laser. It is one of the most innovative tools we have in our line right now. And it's simple. As you can see, there's not much to it. I'm going to show you on this model that we've designed. And this model represents a floor, a wall, and a roof deck. This right here is what we call a vent loop. Now, on a vent loop, this is the drain and this is the vent. Both of those have to slope at between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch per foot. The copper line here has to be level. So when, whenever we drill through studs in a wall, let's just say we had to go through five studs. We have to measure up and over on every stud, okay? So if we had five studs to measure on, we'd have to measure 10 times, okay? We'd have to measure up and then over, up, then over, up, then over. And if at any point on that we mark the wrong number, we cannot redrill that hole and the pipe won't fit. With the HL100, all we have to do is measure three times. We have to measure up and over and then over. Now what we would do then is we would drill our first hole, okay? Now the laser itself fits right into the hole and we put this self-centering nut on there. And this nut will fit the laser in a hole that varies from seven eighths of an inch all the way up to two and three quarters. So what I'll do is I'll put, actually put this in the hole and I'm gonna put the nut on there. It self-centers the laser right in the hole. Now on the other side of the laser here is the on-off switch. It's a little button. I turn the button on. Now on the top dial here, this dial here controls level or slope. And if you look at the laser here, there's indicator rings in the vial. And so when we're running a, a hot or cold water, we want the pipe to be level. But if we're running a vent or a drain, we want it to slope between an eighth of an inch per foot and quarter inch per foot. So if we were doing a vent right now, what I would do is first I would dial in slope. And if I touch the bubble against the first, the middle ring, I'm at an eighth of an inch per foot. If I turn it a little bit more, touch the bubble at the third ring, I'm at a quarter of an inch per foot. Now with the side dial here, all I do is I can steer it left and right. As soon as I line up with this third mark over here, all I do is I drill the dot and just keep going. So I'm going to put it in the next hole to show you how that works. We have the dot right here. As soon as we drill that hole, it shines through and hits the other stud. And what, what it's doing is it's measuring from the center of the hole all the way through and it lines up the holes perfectly. This laser on, on average will save you uh, 45 minutes to an hour of layout time on a custom home. When we were talking about holes in a row through a wall, you have to keep in mind that the measurements are at your chest level, between waist and chest. When we get into the next application, we're talking about holes in a row through a floor. What makes that difficult is the floor is above you, eight feet or nine feet up in the air. So all your measurements are up in the air. So you climb up a ladder, make a measurement, move the ladder over, make another measurement. So it takes a long time, it's a lot harder to do. And also in a floor, especially nowadays, you'll see more and more joists like this being used. They're called TJIs. And as you can see, it's a lot more difficult to get your measurements on your TJIs with, all, with the shape of the TJIs, right? Another problem that the contractors have is there's no easy reference for horizontal on where to mark it. You, behind you, you have your steel, or eight feet in that direction, you have your foundation. None of it's easy to reach. So again, what the HL100 has done is it's made a tough application a lot easier. We still have to get the location of the first hole, up and over. On the second joist, all we have to do is get over, because again, the up and down is controlled by the laser. So now here's another little different situation, is because it's a TJI, we're going to take what was the expansion nut before, and we're going to put it on the laser backwards. And what that's doing is it's giving the laser body standoff. So now when we put it into the hole and use the self-centering nut, the bottom beam of the TJI isn't getting in the way. But now earlier, I told you that the problem with the floor is it's up above you. Well, the laser also works 
upside down. Because we're working overhead, right? So now we go through the same process. This time the on-off button's on this side, right? So now on the top, on the top dial here, now we can dial in slope, or we can dial in level, right? 